This is Timmy from Pure Kicks. How's everyone doing? Oh my god. He's doing work. Oh my god. That's what t says. That's what t says. Oh my it? god. Did you get me? Did you get it? He's so different. Did you get it? Oh my god. He's Did so different. Give me a dunk. Give me a dunk. Give me a dunk. Oh my K. Give me a dunk. Give me a dunk. Give me a dunk. Oh my god. Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks, back here again with another performance review. This time, taking a look at the highly anticipated LeBron 15. Let's get it. So for the past couple of weeks, you guys have been texting us, tweeting us, messaging us, letting us know that this is the performance review that you guys have been waiting for. So without further ado, it's finally here. So let's get into it. Starting with the traction. If you look back at our first impressions video, this traction looked Beastly. I described it as something like snow boots, super spiky, looked like it was really about to eat up the court with all these spikes. Unfortunately, it didn't quite do that. Traction was pretty good. Uh, it took care of business as it should do with the way it looks, but I feel like it may be a case of some breaking in time. The rubber compound itself, I actually got myself the solid rubber outsole, which performed pretty well, definitely better than it would the ghost colorway which actually is an icy bottom. So it being a solid rubber, I believe outdoors it will probably hold up pretty well, but not great. Simply because there are a lot of spikes here. I say spikes in terms of that kind of snow boot traction I was talking about before, but I can see them wearing down quite quickly because of how small and how high the peaks are. So I wouldn't advise taking them outdoors, but if you are, I'm sure you'll be okay for a couple sessions. So moving up into the shoe, we're talking about one of the most exciting parts of the shoe, the new midsole cushioning. What happens quite a lot with LeBron is that Nike will really push the boat out when it comes to innovating his midsoles and innovating his shoe overall. So here we're seeing a combination of Air Zoom and Air Max all in one midsole cushioning. And it performed incredibly. The comfort was amazing. I felt like I was taken care of. So any rebounds, any landing from my jump shots, no matter what it was, I felt like I was taken care of every single step. Now. What's really great about it is that how articulated it is. Now it looks like full length, which it is, but it's articulated from the toe all the way to the heel. So you've got these slits as well, which make the shoe incredibly flexible every which way you need it to be. And that's exactly what I felt on the court. So this whole new setup works like a charm. So if I kind of talk about the midsole and its court feel, now with a cushion system this thick, court feel is gonna take a hit. Now for me, definitely in my own opinion, it's not something that's super important to me in my game. So the comfort took over. I did feel the court a little bit, but the comfort was super there and I'm much happier with having comfort over court feel. So 100% good court feel, but great comfort. So moving on, we're talking about the upper, the fit and materials, and we're talking about a brand new system designed for LeBron 15. We're calling it, they're actually calling it Battle Knit, aren't they? I think they call it Battle Knit. Yeah. Fly Knit, Battle Knit. Fly, knit, fly Battle. Fly Battle. Battle, Something. Battle Fly. Let's just call it Fly Battle. We're going to call it Fly Battle. We're going to make that up. Pure Kicks heard it here first. So Fly Battle Upper, I'm not going to call it that. <laughs> so the Battle Knit Upper, which takes Fly Knit to a complete next level. Designed for LeBron and his size and his weight. As we already know, for 15 years now, LeBron has been doing things on the court he really shouldn't be doing. So the Fly Knit Upper takes care of him doing just those things. At someone his height, moving in that speed, jumping that high with that level of agility, Battle Knit Upper takes care of that. So we're still getting the same things we always got in Fly Knit, which was breathability, flexibility, and lightweightness, but now really adding an aspect of support and structure. Basically just use more Fly Knit. Use more of it, but folded it over to hold the foot really well where it needs to be. And I think works, again, so, so well. As Soon as you put the shoe on, you've got the one piece sock like construction, which was easy as hell to put on, which is sometimes quite difficult. But with these, no problems whatsoever. Super happy. And I felt instantly locked in and ready to go as soon as I put these on. So that bat on the upper, along with this one piece upper, safe. So last but not least, talking about the fit of the shoe. For me, I wear a size 12 and these are a size 12. However, I do feel like they fit just a tiny bit long just a tiny bit. So much so that all I had to do was wear another pair of socks. That's something I like to do when it comes to even just cushioning inside of a shoe. 
but doubling up on my sock took care of business and the fit was epic from there. So really, really happy with that. Does it run wide? Does it run narrow? Pretty regular. As big as LeBron is, again, we forget that these shoes are designed for these athletes. This shoe fits pretty regular. So I'm sure you're gonna be taken care of for most cases, but because of that battle knit and that stretch aspect, I'm sure it will take care of those wide footers as well. The next up, we're talking about support which is a massive aspect for LeBron when we're talking about how big he is and how quickly he moves. So we have another kind of triple threat setup here where we've got the flyaway cords, which we see holding your foot down really well in the midfoot. There's extra layers of bat on it, which take care of lateral support. And of course that external heel counter, which ensures that there's no slippage in the back of the shoe. So really locking you down in every angle, ensuring that you can go on the court and do whatever you want and the shoe's just gonna work with you every step of the way. So for me, it did just that. I have no complaints about support. I really felt like I was locked in from the second I put the shoe in. Now, some shoes, some flyknit shoes, and some even regular shoes take some time to break in. These did take only a little bit of time. One session, it was done. It was handled, broken in, ready to go, locked in. Let's get it. All right, so I know what some of you guys are wondering. Timmy, with a shoe of all of that brand new innovation, what's that gonna set me back? So here in the UK, it's gonna set you back 160 pounds. Across Europe, it's gonna be 180 euros. And in the US, it's gonna set you back $185. Something we've grown to kind of understand when we come to LeBron, because every single year is a brand new innovation. So again, value for your money? Yeah, 100%. So closing with my overall thoughts, the LeBron 15 is the best LeBron of all time. I say that and I say it with my chest. This shoe is incredible. It really ticks so many, so many boxes. The only thing letting it down, yes, was the traction, but that's okay. I'm sure a couple wipes and that water test on the court will take care of all of that. But everything else was taken care of. I really feel like I can do what I need to do on the court. Overall, it just felt amazing. I even felt like LeBron. No, I didn't. I just felt like Timmy in LeBron's, which that's fine. So it got the job done still. So that's it from me guys, thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to follow us on both Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram, it's purekicks.ig and on Twitter, it's purekicks underscore TW. And as always, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let us know your thoughts on the brand new LeBron 15. Are you gonna get yourself a pair? Are you feeling them? Are you not? We'd love to hear your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The button's gonna be somewhere on this page in a second. And we'd like to say thank you for the support so far. We really appreciate it. Keep hitting that subscribe button and we'll keep giving you content. So that's it from me. This is the LeBron 15. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.